this week's broadcast, we are going to be doing Game Hell. We're going to be playing games uh, not by the SCP Foundation, but about the SCP Foundation. It's basically a creepypasta wiki, creepypasta literature website. There's, the, there's these, there's these analomous, an, analomous objects that have um, peculiar powers or whatever it is, and it's basically written like like a government website for like uh, containment procedures. It's not, no, it's not, it's not the creepypasta wiki where you, where you find copies of Sonic.exe. It's not that kind of creepypasta. So the SCP Foundation is, is slightly a cut above in terms of reading, um, reading creepy, weird fiction stuff. But they've attracted a lot of fans that make fan games that are pretty shitty. Anyways, tonight's games are games based upon SCPs that are written about on the SCP Foundation website. Object class is Euclid, which means it's not safe, but it's not dangerous. It's somewhere in the middle. We haven't quite figured it out. That's some SCP lingo for you. SCP-87 is located on the campus of Redacted. You're going to hear that a lot because they just fucking love its government documents. Everything is marked out. SCP-87 is an unlit platform staircase. Stairs descend on a 38 degree angle for 13 steps. It, they, it is that specific. It is that specific. Each subject conducting an exploration has encountered SCP-87-1, which is like an, a, pref a suffix that's tacked on there, uh, which appears as a face with no visible pupils, nostrils, or mouth. Door, check. <laughs> Stairs, check. <laughs> you getting scared? You know what? Let's see. Let's see if the game got this right. Cause I noticed they got the semicircle right. Let's count the stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Nope, you fucked up on the stairs. The guide said thirteen stairs. Holy shit! I can jump. That's a hell of a vertical leap. Wow! Look at that. Wow. That's an incredible jump. Let's. Okay. Well, now let's let's fuck this up. Let's fuck with the game. Let's... Yeah. Oh, dude, we are descent... Look at this. Work smarter, not harder, folks. So, this is this is a good lead-in, because this is like the first pitfall of these games, where it's like, okay, this is something that's a lot more fun to read about than it is to actually try and experience. J-Harms has a... J-Harms, that idea... That just, that just might work. I can't... Oh, wait. Oh, I can go back up. I have to jump, but I can go back up the stairs. Well, this this is a whole new dimension right here. Burning some calories and walking down a spooky staircase. I'm hearing I'm hearing whooshing sounds. I am hearing spooky noises. <laughs> oh, every single oh, hang on, what was that? Did you guys see that? Every single one I checked was off the plat. Yeah, that's. Bustin', bustin', bustin'. <laughs> I need a bustin' emote. This was a good game to start off with in hindsight because anybody who was watching who was remotely interested in the SCP Foundation has already tuned out because this is, this is shit. I swear to God, there's a monster at the end of this book. I swear to God. Ugh, fucking 33. We've gone down 10 more fucking floors. That's 20 sets of stairs. And we ain't seen shit. I don't think I glitched it by jumping. May I don't know. I'm afraid to start over. Because if I have to start over, then it's... Maybe I did fuck it up by jumping down the stairs. I don't know. Maybe that... How, how fucked up is that? We broke the game by jumping down a staircase. The developer didn't think to not let you jump down stairs. And it ruined the whole game. This is the level of game quality that we're... This is... This is Game Hell Roots right here. This is the original. This is this is where this is where it all this is where the dream begins. You see it? You see it? Do you see it? Uh oh. Oh fuck! Are you? Oh. We didn't even get it. 
We didn't even get a money shot with that. We didn't even get a big zoom in where it's like, like the fucking Andros boss at the end of Star Fox 64. It just, we just look at it. It's like the ending of the fucking Blair Witch. That's what we get. This came in a folder called Windows No Editor. Seems legit. I've confirmed that all these games are like not viruses and they do work. There is no disk in drive E. There's no drive E, you fucking retard. I guess we enter the foundation. Hey guys. Oh my god, this movement. He's so he's so it's like when he moves, he just he just kinda does this number. Sweet guns, by the way. Love the fucking assault rifles you're totally holding. They couldn't even they couldn't even they couldn't even figure out how to replace them with uh, proper walkie-talkies. Good job, guys. Can I can I interact with them at all? If I click, nope. Okay. Well, this is just gets. Uh. I think it froze. <laughs> Good job, SCP, what was this, SCP Lockdown? Yeah, more like SCP Lock Up, you fucking idiot. Oh, hang on, hang on. Lighting, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting Unity error messages or something. L lighting needs to be rebuilt. Texture streaming pool over 85 megabytes. This, none of this, okay, I, I have control again, but like none of this sounds good. Where, now where is this light? Where's this light coming from? This is interesting. This is a good turn of events. Texture streaming. I don't know what that means. I'm not a Unity developer, then again, neither is this guy, so fuck if he knows what that means either. Okay, what is this? Is this something that's that's interactable? It looks like a computer. Nope. So far, so far, I am so I am so brilliantly entertained by this game. I like how when I get close to these light sources, everything else just kind of dims out. That's how light works. The real fucking James Terrell we're dealing with here. Oh, this one's- this is a good one. This is Pipe Nightmare. What I'm digging about this game is the fact that where it says Game Menu at the top, it covers up the name of the game. That's how you know we're dealing with quality here. SCP-15 is a mass of pipes, vents, boilers, and other various plumbing apparatus completely filling a warehouse in... Redacted. Of course. The pipes appear to grow when not under observation, attempting to connect to nearby structures via sewer systems and underground plumbing. Some pipes appear new, while others are rusted and leaking. Pipes have been reported as being made of bone, wood, steel, pressed ash, human flesh, glass, and granite. You may have noticed. You may have noticed some of those materials are not are not pipe materials. And here's the scary part: SCP-15 reacts to tools and aggression. Any personnel acting violently, carrying tools, or attempting to damage or repair SCP-15 in any way will trigger a reaction. Any pipes near the subject will burst, spraying on the subject for several seconds before the flow suddenly stops. Pipes have been reported containing oil, mercury, rats. A species of insect not yet identified, ground glass, seawater, entrails, and molten iron. Oh look, it's even it even quotes the SCP right up there in the I guess I didn't have to read it to you. Great! Walking simulator. I noticed I have one health? Is that, is that what that says? One. Okay. I like how there was an option to like save and load a game as if you'd be able to remember where the fuck you're supposed to be going. I, get, I can sort of run, like this is me not running, this is me running. And I've activated sticky keys. Windows 10 is literally the worst thing in the world, I swear to god. I, uh, I turned that off. Here's a question, where's the fucking pipes? Uh, yeah, I don't have a flashlight. Oh, but I can, like, look. I can do this little juke where I can look side to side. And I can crouch inexplicably, and I can jump. I think these are all, like, default movement features and whatever engine these, these 
developers use to make these games with. Oh! Now we're getting somewhere. This looks spooky. What the fuck? These are just spikes. This isn't scary at all. And they're even they're even perfectly lined up. Look at that. There are, there's the pipes though. There's the spooky pipes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! What the fuck? I got jumped by. I got spooked by a guy. Did you get spooked? I should. You're right. You're right, whole horse. I should have stayed. Stay. Stay noited. Hey, Dick. Are they knights? What the fuck is this shit? Will they attack me if I stop looking at them? Can I sneak around back behind them? Nope. So we just get to the very end and there's knights? That's that's how SCP-15 ends? Hey, excuse me, fellas. You guys mind if I... Uh... Alright. Maybe I'll get around them. Uh... The game has stopped working. SCP-432 is a two-door steel storage cabinet measuring two meters tall by 1.2 meters wide by one meter deep. The exterior of the cabinet is painted matte green and bears no remarkable features except small areas of corrosion and light scratching commensurate with being left exposed to the elements for a prolonged period of time. The interior dimensions of SCP-432 display significant disparity with the exterior. The doors open into an apparently extra-dimensional space containing a large labyrinth complex comprised of an as-yet uncharted series of corridors. The exact size of the labyrinth complex which SCP-432 connects cannot be accurately measured as each time the doors of the cabinet are closed and then reopened, the entrance created by the cabinet apparently moves to a different section of the maze. So it's basically a tool shed that opens up into just a massive labyrinth that contains a spooky monster. I feel like this was drawn in paint. This this just reeks of paint for some reason. Well fuck, there's no reason to play with the flashlight off because I can't see shit. Presumably, we'll know what an artifact looks like when we see it. What are these? found some, uh, we found the stash of illegal contraband here, and we found all of the Mario 3 tails. <laughs> now we can fly! We got a light bulb up here. Alright, that's, that's handy. Maybe I'm going the, ooh. Maybe I'm going the right way. I could be completely wrong. Oh, oh, what is this? What? Was it a Merkin? Was it a saw blade? At least my flashlight doesn't have a battery meter. It could always be worse. There could always be some bullshit mechanic like a battery meter. Can of beer? That is... That is clearly... That is a can. That is a can model. I can see the pop top. What is it? Okay. I can't interact with this at all. Oh, wait. Press space. Fuck. What was the button to... Fuck. I gotta click to pick up the artifacts. Shit. Maybe I could have picked up the hair and the leaves. Yes. Alright, that's three. That's three things. Oh, fuck! God damn it! I thought those were... Holy shit, did I just get scared on camera again? Take a good look at this title screen, by the way, and you might notice that something is just a little bit awry. We get to play a Minecraft version of, <laughs> of everybody's favorite stair game. This is an autism simulator. We have reached true autism nirvana. Also, this one doesn't even get the lore right, because it's supposed to be 180 degree stairs. These are 90 degree stairs. Also, I am willing to bet it's gonna be fucking Hero Brian that comes up and tries to spook us. They don't even label the floors. This is this is pissing me off because right here, 
right here, there's two. It goes one block, one block, one block, two blocks right here at the end. And it's fucking with my OCD, my fake OCD. I That pisses me off every time I see it. Oh, oh my god, that's who it is. Are you shitting me? 